Too many of our economic indicators today are pointing south. We have in the last month entered the hyperinflation era with an inflation rate of 54%. Our currency has in the past few months been counted amongst the worst performing in the world, plummeting by as much as 54% in value within the first 10 months of 2022. Widening budget deficits have characterized economic performance since 2018. A severe cost of living crisis fueled by ever rising prices of basic goods has imposed extreme hardship on Ghanaians as the government struggles to meet some of its most basic commitments in areas like education and health. Unemployment stood at a staggering 13%, the highest in recent memory. It will be no hyperbole to assert that our present state bears an uncanny resemblance to the period of the late 70s and 80s. How was a country with such bright prospects only a decade ago brought to its knees so quickly when it should have made far more progress? The present trouble with our economy stems from gross mismanagement and in some instances sheer recklessness. Government failed to sustain the gains made after our last IMF program which brought stability into the management of the Ghanaian economy. Corruption has also contributed significantly to bringing us to this distressing juncture.